So we're going to be looking at um, particles in Bifrost this week. Um, this is a simulation I've done recently. I've been playing around with it quite a bit. Um, as you can see, they look pretty cool. Um, the difference between them and say M particles is um, they're a lot quicker to simulate. Um, you have a lot more control, especially with the new field system, which I'll be touching on today. Um, and you can simulate a lot more particles. There's somewhere in the region of about 30 million particles here at the end, if not more. Um, I've got some other tests I've done as well. Um, let's have a look at this one. So, as you can see, you get some quite cool effects using the fields and things. And doing this in the old M particle system would have taken a very long time to simulate and render. Um, these simulate fairly quickly. I mean, I don't think any of them were longer than like three hours. I think I've got some other ones here, um, and you can do some really cool things with them. Um, as you can see, this is pretty weird. Um, and I've got some other ones coming up. That just fades off. Let me look at some more. Uh, let's go with this one. This one um, sort of sort of weird wormhole type thing I did. Um, which is quite cool. So it's all the turbulence stuff. And then I've got another one here. Um, let's play that one. I should preview that one a bit slower. Um, but that's the same as the previous one, but I've just slightly tweaked the settings of the field. Um, I probably won't be able to get into too in-depth about fields today. They're quite complicated. Um, but I'm hoping to sort of give you a basic intro into them. So with that, let's start having a look at the particle system. <laughs> 